Hi, welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to um, look at how to simplify negative powers. It's mainly algebraic. So we're going to be using this rule here at the top. Uh, the first one, you can see that n is 1, so it's just simply 1 over x to the power of 1, and we don't bother writing the 1 in. The next one, you need to think of it as 3 times x to the negative 2. And using the rule above, n is 2, so it will be 1 over x squared. And you need to think of this 3 as being 3 over 1. So you get 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times x squared is x squared. And that would be the answer. The next one, we need to think of this as 2 fifths times x to the negative 3, okay? If you like, think of it as x to the negative 3 over 1 to get the original answer. And then use the rule at the top um, for the x to the negative 3. n is 3, so it's 1 over x cubed. And 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times x cubed is 5x cubed. And this exercise has been done to help us um, if we were asked to substitute numbers in for the letters, especially be, it will be non-calculator. This next one, number four, uh, which I'd like to um, do here, we need to think of it as three-fifths um, times x to the minus four. It's obvious, really, which is three-fifths times n is four, so it's one over x to the four which will give us 3 times 1 is 3, and 5 times x to the 4 is 5x to the power of 4. And that would be the answer. The next lot are a bit more involved because they have fractional indices in them. Okay, so the, I've written some rules at the top to help us. The first one is 7 times, it's a negative power, so I use this rule here, a to the negative n is 1 over a to the n, where n is a half. So it's times 1 over y to the power of a half. Then we go to the first rule on the top left, where n is 2, so it's the second root. So it's 7 times 1 over root y. We don't bother putting in the 2. And that 7 is 7 over 1. 7 times 1 is 7 over root y. And really, you're expected to be able to go from here straight to here. With practice, it's easy to do. The next one, it's 7 times 1 over, the negative power becomes positive at the bottom, and that's 7 over 1, so it's 7 over y to the 2 thirds. Then we come over to this rule here, the top um, the last one at the top, where you've got a to the power of m over n. n is 3, so the root is, a th is the third root, which means cube root at the bottom. And if we use the first one here, then it's the nth root of y all squared. Or we could use this one here, in which case the answer would be 7 over the cube root of y squared. Both of these are acceptable. However, this one here is preferable if you're substituting a number like 125 to replace y. It's easier to work out than this one here. Okay? This next one, it's 3 quarters times 1 over y to the power of two-fifths. So it's similar to the last one. I'll multiply the top first and multiply the bottom. So three times one is three and four times y to the power of two-fifths is four y to the power of two-fifths. Then I go back to those rules at the top on the right hand side and I think of what root it is that I'm finding. Well n is five because it's m over n so it's the fifth root of y all squared. Okay, that is one possible answer. 
So what's the second one? It's 3 over 4 times the fifth root of y squared. In this last one, we don't really need the bracket as long as we make sure the 4 is a large font. It's the same font as the whole of that root. Of course, this one here is preferred if we wanted to substitute a value in um, for y. Okay? So, for example, y to the negative 3 over 4, there are two rules I've written on the right-hand side. If I use rule number 1, well, first of all, we need to write it as 1 over y to the power of 3 quarters. Then I'm going to use rule number 1 and say it's 1 over m is 3, n is 4. So it's the fourth root of y to the power of 3. So that's one possibility. If I start all over again and I use the second rule, that's what I was trying to stress on the, the, the number 4 earlier on, it'd be 1 over, it's the fourth root of y cubed using rule 2. But this one here is preferable if you're substituting in a number for y in a non-calculator paper. Well, I hope you found that useful. On to the next one. Take care.